Hello, good day, my dear grade 8 students in research 8, research 8 or research 2 is by per subject description. So, welcome to our second quarter class. So, the coverage of our second quarter class is all about the research process. In this uh, video, I will uh, discuss the coverage uh, and uh, the details of the coverage will be uh, in uh, another video. So, watch this one and if you have comments, suggestions, please, uh, or uh, questions, please uh, comment in our chat box. Suggestion at it. Okay, let's proceed. Again, the research process. So, just by reading the the text, the research process. Uh, what comes into your mind? Maybe your answer will be, uh, of course, the steps in doing research, or what are the 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 guides guidelines in doing research. So, if those are your your idea, that that is all correct. So the coverage, no? In in this quarter, we're going to discuss. If time allows, we will discuss all of these. Number one, documenting the research process. Okay. So in the documenting the research process, it includes there the project data logbook, of course, in in every SIP or science investigatory project that you will be doing in the future. We we always have our data logbook. So this is, uh, shall we say, in uh, layman's term, the di your diary in doing uh, the SIP. Another part of documenting the research process, of course, the research forms. So there are different research forms to comply in doing uh, science, science investigatory projects such as uh, human participants form and etc so number two is the uh, international rules in the conduct of research so this is uh, the the things that we should follow and take note in doing the SIP okay like the ethics of uh, doing SIP what are the things that we should do and not do in, do in uh, conducting science investigatory project? Next, humans. If you have human participants, human participants. No? This is uh, one word. I mean one, one phrase. Human participants. In human participants, these are the... If you have human participants, you need to follow and uh, observe proper guidelines in doing SIP with human participants. Vertebrate animals also. If there are, if uh, if you are doing uh, vertebrate animals study, you need to follow the international rules for for doing a uh, inter doing vertebrate animal studies like the Ayakuk, where you can find uh, international animal care and. Ayako, in an animal care. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and we have also potentially hazardous biological agents. These are the uh, chemicals that we're going to use in SIP. And hazardous chemicals and activities and devices. If you are using, uh, especially in uh, innovations or uh, RIM robotics and intelligent machines or uh, physical studies physical science studies where you you use gadgets and and uh, other equipments or activities there are also set of rules for that and the last one steps in the research process of course before doing the entire process you have to uh, we're well uh, acquainted with these uh, steps. Number one, identification of the problem. 
you have this I think in your grade 7 and let's follow up the your learning in this grade 8 research formulation of hypotheses review of literature planning of the research design and procedure experimentation data gathering organization pricing analysis and interpretation and of course formulation of conclusions and uh, the last coverage of, I mean not the last but part of the second quarter is the the research problem okay so as mentioned there are different categories in SIP when I say SIP uh, I, I mean uh, science investigatory project there no? there are life science physical science and robotics so depending on your interest so you can uh, pursue life science studies physical or robotics and number two identifying a research problem okay so that that's the first thing uh, a research a researcher should, should do no uh, to came up with a research problem not really a research title but uh, most importantly the research problem including in uh, the research problem is the sources of the research problem guidelines in the selection of the research topic or problem and uh, once you have your research problem you can then formulate research title and number three formulating research problem so uh, how do you came up with the research problem so it includes the characteristics of a research problem main problems and sub problems of the research and uh, la another is the form letter e formulating the hypothesis okay so uh, in this uh, part of the second quarter we will define hypothesis and then identify types of hypothesis null alternative cause and effect and of course uh, writing the hypothesis number four okay so uh, that's it guys that's 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 it guys that's, that's it my dear students I hope uh, uh, we can uh, cover all the topics mentioned in the second quarter I will try hard to do it so just uh, keep updated by visiting the LMS frequently and maybe if I can find time I will post in our GCs on the updates thank you and good day once again bye